everybody, welcome back to Psych2Go, Daria here, and today we're going to be doing a part two of things people with mental illness won't tell you. Make sure to check out the part one first, so you can click that right here, and then come back to this video to watch the part two. Let's get started. Number one, they don't want other people to interfere. Many people who suffer from mental health problems are brave individuals. They understand the magnitude of what they're facing, but they want to face it alone. This can seem strange for the people around them, but for those who are suffering, it can seem patronizing and belittling to have other people decide which treatment is best for them, or how they should deal with their illness. These are people who don't want any pity or sympathy, and so they're reluctant to share the things that trouble them with others, out of fear that it could be perceived as weak. Number two, they don't want to talk about the things they don't have any control over. For people suffering from mental illness, talking about their condition can seem like an exercise in fertility. In most cases, it's something they're bored with. So they've had plenty of time to think about it, talk about it, and form an opinion about it. It's usually something they've accepted long ago as being a part of their lives, and they've usually formulated some sort of plan to deal with it. Talking about it can seem useless for some people, because they know better than anyone the difficulties they face. More than anything, these people just want to get on with it, in the best possible way they know how to, regardless of what other useful advice they can get. Number three, they worry if they tell people they might lose them. People who suffer from depression often feel like if they tell people who are close to them the details of what's going on, the news might just push them away. This is a very tough situation because the people who are closer to this individual, upon hearing they have a mental illness, it could cause considerable damage. So it's kind of easy to understand why these individuals don't even want to talk about it. And number four, individuals going through therapy may be uncovering repressed issues. During the course of their treatment, people with mental health issues may be discovering things that they may have been denial about or things they've just been repressing. Examples of these issues could be childhood abuse and identity issues. These times can be confusing, difficult, and uncomfortable for many people. And those on the outside may be completely unaware of what's going on. It's important for people around individuals with mental health issues to be aware of what could be happening behind the closed doors of the therapist's office. And that's all we got for today. If you think this video could raise more awareness about mental health issues, make sure to share this video, give it a like, subscribe, and comment below what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my channel where I make videos every single Thursday. The link will all be in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! If you're trying to attract someone to yourself, you may want to put yourself in their shoes. Being empathetic towards someone helps you understand.